Welcome to Start With, the Tampa Museum of Art's virtual early education program for children and families. Sponsored by the Tampa Bay Super Bowl 55 Host Committee, the Institute of Museum and Library Services, and Tico Energy. Hi friends, I'm Miss Victoria, and I work here at the Tampa Museum of Art in downtown Tampa. I'm so excited you're joining me today to explore the elements of art, learn how to share our emotions, discover interesting artists, and much, much more. Today, we'll start by sharing a story together in the galleries, and then I'll suggest an art-making activity for you to get involved and be inspired by a work of art that we'll take a closer look at. So, let's get started and meet upstairs in the galleries. Here at the Tampa Museum of Art, we collect artwork that is really old from ancient Greece and ancient Rome, so older than all of the grown-ups we know, and modern and contemporary art, or the art of today. Today, I am in Figure Forward Selections from the Permanent Collection. We are starting with line. The artist Paul Klee once said, a line is like a dot that's gone for a walk. Let's keep that in mind as we read our story and take a closer look at a work of art by an artist named Purvis Young. Lines That Wiggle by Candace Whitman. Illustrations by Steve Wilson. Lines That Wiggle. Lines That Bend. Wavy lines from end to end. Lines that tickle, lines that sprout. Bugs have lines that stick right out. Lines to trap, lines to hide. Two lines running side by side. Lines that curve, lines that curl. Underwater lines that swirl. Lines that crisscross. Lines that mend. Lines with doggies at the end. Lines that scurry. Lines in threes. Lines in leaves that grow on trees. Lines that twist. Lines that sway. Lines that swish the flies away. Zigzag lines light up the sky. Rainbow lines are way up high. Lines are everywhere you look, so find some lines not in this book. Now that we've read a fun story together about all the different kinds of lines, let's name all of the different kinds of lines that we heard about or that we see in everyday life around us. We know a straight line, a curvy line, a wavy line, a zigzag line, a dotted line, a dashed line, and even a spiral line. Not to mention, lines can go in all different directions. They can be vertical or up and down, and they can be horizontal or side to side. And they can even be diagonal or angled. Keeping those kind of lines in mind, let's take a closer look at Untitled by Purvis Young. Some questions to guide your looking might be, what different kinds of lines do you see? What shapes did Purvis create with lines? What story do you think Purvis is trying to tell? What do you see that makes you say that? Here at the museum, we have a total of 91 works of art by Purvis Young because of a generous gift from the Rebell family. In 2019, we had an exhibition called Purvis Young 91 that showed all of Purvis's artworks in our collection, and they were hung on the wall from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. Our curator, who is someone who is kind of like a narrator of the exhibition at the museum, chose to display the artworks like this because Purvis hung his artwork outside of his studio from the ground all the way up to the roof. Purvis thought it was really important that everyone in his community could come and see his artwork. Now that we've taken a closer look at Untitled by Purvis Young, it's time for you to be inspired and to create your own work of art. 
I created mine with construction paper and chalk and filled my artwork with all the different kinds of lines that we talked about. I used curvy lines, straight lines, spiral lines, zigzag lines, and you can even take your chalk outside. And on grown-up approved surfaces, you can create artwork in your community just like Purvis Young. Instructions for this activity and suggestions for more ways to engage can be found on our website. And be sure to share your wonderful creations with us on any of our social media platforms. Thank you so much for learning and creating with the Tampa Museum of Art, and we'll see you next time.